Welcome back to our Seeds Devotionals, where we meet every week to gather little snippets as we grow in God. We spend a little bit of time just equipping and encouraging each other to do what God's called us to in the place where we're planted. It's mostly what Planning Roots is about anyway. But if you've run through this the past summer with us, you know we've been talking a lot about transitions, different kinds of transitions as we may be transitioning seasons, we may be transitioning locations, we may be sending folks off to new places and, and other folks coming into our circle of influence in our neighborhoods or our churches or our units or different things like that. And so we've talked a lot about what those transitions look like and how we can keep our focus and our heart still searching and still following after God, even in the midst of that, which is why we spent the month of July really digging into and spending time in prayer to keep us in that focus. As we come into this fall, I pondered about what we were going to talk about and um, what the Lord had really laid on my heart. And so we're actually going to spend this month um, in this season of transition. I know that we start again to figure out where we belong. We try to find that local uh, group or community where God would have us to be with, those, those folks that God would have us to be in community with. And one of those, one of the most important parts of that is the body of Christ where we are. And if you're like us, finding that church home again is no joke. It is like not an easy thing to do sometimes. And whether it's a, spot, a Bible study, whether it is a church, um, whether it is a, a ministry of fellowship in other places, it's important um, that we find those places in each place that we go or each season of our lives. And so this month, we're going to talk about mooring our boat. Uh, so if you're a Navy uh, person, if you're a Navy gal, then you know that mooring your boat is tying your boat to a stationary object. And um, as much as we're on the seas, um, as we go from place to place, and we feel like our lives are very nomadic, we have to have that place where we tie ourselves to, that place where we are, um, that reminds us of who Christ is, that points us back to the truth of scripture, um, that keeps us accountable as we follow the Lord in the places where we are. And so we're going to talk about mooring our boat this month. Now, this first this first week, we're actually going to talk about planning our approach. And if you've ever moored a boat, if you've been part of the Navy, maybe you've just had boats of your own, however that's looked, um, well, you have to plan your approach. You don't just um, just drive right up and <laughs> And be like, whoa, this works. Um, so you have to plan your approach. You have to be intentional about what that looks like and, and where you're heading into that. Um, so the same thing applies to us finding that body of believers or that church home where we are. And part of that is knowing, you know, kind of uh, planning the approach in that. And for our family, what we do is we start with a statement of faith. What what does that body of believers believe? Um, if you are looking for a church, a lot of times you can find it on their church website as a statement of faith or a statement of belief. Sometimes they have things like creeds that they um, that they share in the service or they um, they share on their website or their informational stuff ahead of time. You can stop by the church before you go on, on Sunday morning or Saturday evening and you can ask about these things and they, they should be able to provide them for you. But even Bible studies and groups like that, we need to know where their foundation is. We need to know um, that they are true followers of the Lord, that they have their roots um, in faith like we do. And so that statement of faith, that statement of belief is a foundational piece. Um, Paul talks about it a little bit in chapter one of Romans, and I'm going to read to you chapter one of Romans verses one through six. And it says, Paul, because that's who's writing it, a servant of Christ Jesus, called as an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in his holy scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was a descendant of David, according to the flesh, and was appointed to be the powerful son of God, according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead. Through him, through Christ, we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience and faith for the sake of his name among the Gentiles, including you who are also called by Jesus Christ. So you can hear in the scriptures Paul's calling um, and how the Lord called him. Um, but in that, you also see the uh, triune God, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, these three parts of who God is. You see um, how we have come to salvation through faith in Jesus himself. Um, so his sacrifice on the cross is what has allowed us 
um, our salvation. It is by grace and not by a works or earning peace. And so these are important notes as we look at a body of believers, whether a Bible study or a church that we need to belong to. So as you start um, on this process of mooring your boat, the first thing you need to do is determine your approach, to plan that approach. And that foundational piece of the truth of scripture is an important part of that. What do they believe? Um, so my question for you today, um, what is the most important part of a statement of faith to you? What is the part that kind of floats to the top or that you think of? Um, has your church used a, a creed at different points in time or do they um, do they have a statement of faith or a statement of belief or um, other ways that, that they share those foundations and is there a favorite part to you? So as we talk about mooring our boat this month, um, the first step to doing that is to plan your approach. And we will talk about, there are three other steps we're going to talk about through the rest of this month. For today, let me pray for us that we would find our foundation, that we would know the foundations of scripture uh, for ourselves, and that we would walk that out in faithfulness. Lord, thank you so much for who you are, for what you have done. Lord, um, for reminding us over and over again of who you are and, and the grace that you give to us. Um, Lord, as we seek to find the, the place where we belong in uh, these new seasons or new places, new installations, new jobs, Lord, I pray that we would make a priority to find that body of believers that we would moor our boat to, that we would find those people that would keep us accountable, that would encourage us, um, equip us to do what you called us to do in the place where we're planted. Lord, may that be a priority for us all, and may we be faithful here. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.